No clue. Any leads on who it might be? Sorry, that's your job. Tell me who it is, or maybe you'd rather deal with your problem yourself. Man, he's not even doing anything. Damn. I hope James has something here to tell me who Damon's informant is. So I need to find which of I gotta read these, don't now, don't I? Searching. I should search around the office to see if there's any info to help me out. Alright. Jeez. Next. I don't think you can know how you feel about someone until you almost lose them. Until you sit in a hospital waiting room, frozen in place, yet somehow falling silently, desperately, pleading to hear their voice, touch their hand, make them laugh. Then you know. It was weird being with Rachel's dad, and actually kind of nice. We were on the same team suddenly, and none of the other shit mattered. I think I can see why Rachel loves him. Got to check on... In on Mikey, spend some time with him and Steph. Oh yeah, and cheer Mikey up with some more hardcore nerd gaming. After what felt like forever, Rachel woke up. Even with everything that's happened, she's still focused on finding her mother. So I am now too. Here's the plan. I'm going to dig around Jeem's office, find whatever I can about her, and track her down so they can meet. I don't care how tough it might be. I'll be the bounty hunter. Alright, we got a message from Jew. Hey Price, thanks again for playing with Mikey. Haha, that was a good game. Good luck with whatever you're dealing with. Be safe. That's from all of us. Thanks. Mikey says tell Chloe she can handle anything. Hope so. Mom. Alright. Planning supper. What time do you think you'll be home? Don't wait for me. Sweetheart, we don't get enough family time as it is. Does Rachel want to join us? She's very welcome to. Mom, I just can't make it tonight. Sorry. Chloe, is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Okay, love you. Love you too. All right. Okay. There's no way that Frank is snitching on Damon. But I love learning about his badass loitering charge. This is that freak from the mill. Wonder what Damon the asshole. Would think of his very cooperative comment. It's been very cooperative. No. No missed check-ins. Has been very cooperative. No missed check. -ins. All right, so that is the dude, Sheldon. What am I looking at? Sarah sent all these letters. Oh. James never gave them to Rachel. That's so messed up. To my Rachel, my name is Sarah and I am your biological mother. The first thing you should know about me is that giving you up was the worst mistake I ever made. I was struggling with something at the time, something I've been battling with ever since. That battle has taken everything from me, most importantly you. But now I am in a place where I know I can be a part of your life. It is more than I deserve, I know, but I would love to try if you want to. Please take your time and if you have anything to say or questions, hearing from you would mean the world. I love you very much and hope to meet you soon. Sweet. I want to take these to Rachel. Dear Rachel, I hope it's all right for me to write you again. I haven't heard from you yet. And that's okay, it really is. I just feel like I have so much to catch up on, you know? I don't remember much of my life. It's a symptom of the choices I've made. So much is lost, except you. I remember everything about you. The crinkle of your nose, the depths of your eyes, the knowing smile that somehow made it seem like you'd seen it all before. I can call it up whenever I want, as clear as the summer day. I was so afraid, afraid that I would be a terrible mother to you that I would screw you up the way I screwed up so much of my life. Now I know, of course, that my fear was wrong. Far worse than being a bad mother is never knowing what kind of mother I would have been. I'm sorry if you can find the courage to forgive me. Maybe you can start over. I want to with all my might. I want to. Oh, this lady's going to make me cry. Beautiful Rachel, Red Summer may be a fortune cookie that you can never step in the same river twice because after it moves, it's not really the same river anymore. It's something new. Do you think that's true? I tried to picture you reading these letters. I wonder what reactions are, how I might seem to you. This mystery mother. I don't blame you for not writing back. You will write when you are ready. Imagine your dad is still wary of all this. That's okay. James is a protector of you, just as I would be. But he's also a kind and compassionate person. That was the problem, really. I wasn't cut out for him or the life he wanted to give you. I knew it then, even when he didn't. 
I knew we could never have the same relationship we should have had, but I hope we can have something now, something new together. I hope so much. All my love. Ah! The dad even opened all of them and read them. in this letter doesn't seem anything at all like the person James told us about last night. James, I understand your reluctance to let me speak with Rachel, but don't you think the decision should belong to her? Everything I've done over the past years has become to has been to prove to you that I am ready to be in Rachel's life. I've gone through rehab. I am in recovery. I am no longer in need of money or assistance. I know I can be a positive influence on her. I'm coming to Arcadia Bay in the hopes that we can at least meet to discuss this. You can see how much I've changed. If you have any feelings left for me at all, you will give me a fair chance to prove myself to you and hopefully to Rachel too. You were the love of my life once. Once, Please don't take this away from me. Oh, man. Okay. Dear Mr. Amber, I represent Sarah Gerhardt, lawful mother of Rachel Amber and petitioner of partial custody of Rachel Amber, her lawful daughter. Please take notice that Oregon law requires current guardians of minors to respond in good faith to any and all lawful petitions by parents to reestablish contact with their children. On behalf of my client, I hereby demand that you cease and desist from unlawfully denying contact between Sarah Gerhardt and Rachel Amber. You are now considered to be no on notice that con continuing refusal will result in a petition for suit filed under Oregon Family Law Statute 42.4b. Tillamook County Family Services. This letter constitutes your final notice on this matter. All right. So this looks like Sarah stopped cashing the checks James sent her. She stopped cashing the checks. To that during his story last night. That's a lot of checks voided. She does. Yeah, she's proven I don't need assistance anymore. I kind of like her mom. How do I respond? Oh. There's another one I need to investigate. This is that freak from the mill. Wonder what Damon would think of his very cooperative comment. Wait a minute. Sheldon Pike, what's this one then? This is that freak from the mill. Why do you have two of them? Feels a little weird having this guy's records at my fingertips. Feels a little weird having this guy's records at my fingertips. Kind of confused. Guess I'm lucky James keeps so much info at home. How do I respond on the phone? Uh. Arcadia Bay oh. is least wanted. There was a accuse. Okay. If I'm going to accuse one of these guys, I'd better be sure I'm right. Frank headshot, Sheldon headshot, Vendor headshot, Thunder headshot. So this is Frank. There's a fourth file somewhere? Guess I'm lucky James keeps so much info at home. I won't, I need to look at that again. It won't let me look at it. It's a little it. weird having this guy's records at my fingertips. And why does it say is Sheldon twice? Oh, it doesn't. I Sheldon is the Damon parolee. Would think of his very cooperative comment. Sheldon Pike is the parolee. I agree to aid the courts on future cases. There it goes. That, that was a could bug. Be seen as a little snitchy. Uh, who is this? State of Oregon versus Gerald Scott. All right, Gerald Scott and oh Our shit that scared me oh man welcome home what's going on yuri welcome to the stream my friend oh you scared me dude we're trying to uh figure out who the culprit is here and i think it was this dude which i just forgot his name i agree to aid the courts on gerald scott cases. 
That could be seen as a little snitchy. But what are their names? Who's Thunder and who's Vendor? Those aren't their names on here. Okay, I have, might have to do a process of elimination. This is that freak from the mill. Wonder what Damon would think of his very cooperative comment. Sheldon Pike. Sheldon Pike. I agree to aid the courts on future Gerald cases. Scott. Who's who? That could be seen as a little snitchy. I don't... Who are their names? This is that asshole who was selling firewalk shirts. This guy let me into the mill. Cool dude. I'm not gonna snitch on him. He was a cool dude. Could this douchebag be the snitch Damon's talking about? Guess this explains why Mr. Amber knows so much about Frank. <clears throat> Could this douchebag be the snitch Damon's talking about? I don't know. Because this one only says this is the flashing lights. This is freak from the mill. Wonder what Damon would think of his very cooperative comment. Yay! Evening puppies. Let's get them, uh... Where's my ring of regen? <laughs> See, Yuri, thank you for the five minutes. Um, num, 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 good doggo, good doggo. Shade is over here snuggling. She's uh, snuggling up on me tonight. How you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. I'm trying to figure out who the snitch is between these two dudes. It's either Sheldon Pike, which. I don't think it's him. I think it's this guy. I agree to aid the courts on future cases. Who's that could be seen as a Gerald snitchy. Scott, but I don't have their name on the board for some reason. That's that's a terrible. Like for the guy being the DA, he didn't organize his board very well. Illegal sale of stolen goods. He's the vendor. All right, Gerald Scott is the vendor. All right, I'm going to accuse. Fuck. I kind of want to accuse the asshole. But I'm going to accuse this guy. Gerald's this guy. Fuck, really? I never would have thought. Gerald's gonna wish we never met. Good work. Fuck. Guess all that leaves is our handoff. Show me you have my payment and I'll tell you where to meet. Are you serious? Payment? Fuck. <sighs> How much? The exact amount your pig stole from me. Great. I was hoping James already has Damon's money. I hope James doesn't really get Damon off the hook. That oh, is it really not in there? Pay. Money. Where would the money be? Money. Service award. Where's the money? Oh, what? I wonder if this That's has new. anything to do with Damon's stash. That was in there a minute ago. Yep. I was wondering, oh, all right, so I walked by here originally and I was like, those books are standing out, but they didn't flash up and I was like, okay, maybe it's nothing. It ended up being something. <laughs> yep, 
You haven't seen a large portion of the game. Yeah, me neither. Well, that was all brand new. We never really interacted with them, and all my information was on the in the files. Holy shit! That's a lot of money. That must be thousands of dollars. No wonder Damon wants it so bad. You can steal that and escape this place. So essentially, what did I just do as Chloe? All right, good work. And now here's your girl ready to go. OK, so we destroyed evidence. That's prison time. We snitched on the snitch. So that's going to be accessory to murder. And uh, now we're giving this psychopath drug dealer his money back. I'm pretty sure that's life in prison. Fuck, that's Sarah. And she's at the mill. What is he doing to her? All right, Mr. Amber's a dick. She just wants to meet her daughter. Bring me the package and we can finish the job. Let her go. I'm calling it off. Let her go. Cold feet, huh? You really are new at this. How about I leave her body on your doorstep? Bring me the cash, then we can talk. Holy shit. Does James even know what he's doing? Fuck. Okay. I still have time. Damon's waiting for his money, right? He wouldn't do anything to her. Yet. Fuck. I need to get there fast. Chloe? Elliot? Hey. Elliot. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? What are you're you a, doing here? You're an informant. This I knew it. House, right? I knew I didn't like you. Did he really just follow me here? He followed me? Did you Did you follow me from the hospital? I did. I'm worried about you. You're an informant. You're working for I'm the fine. dude. You're the one I was wondering why you randomly showed up you at the hospital. Be here. Chloe, what is... Ah. Elliot, put that down. You have no idea what you're dealing with. Kneel in, kneel in the and balls. You Chloe, God, what have you gotten yourself into? You... You wouldn't understand. Give me a chance. What the hell are you doing? Yeah, this guy is getting creepy. Um, I don't want to tell him anything. It is serious. <laughs> I can't tell you, but obviously this is pretty serious shit. That's why I need to leave right now. You mean serious for Rachel, right? But, but you're the one putting yourself in danger again. I'm so sick of you not seeing who Rachel really is. When will you realize what she's doing to you? Elliot, just take a step back. You're just no. mad because I'm not dating you. You need to listen to me. What no, has your relationship with her gotten you? You... You don't know what you're talking about. First night you hang out. What happens? You end up in a fight. Uh, yeah. She did save me, and that wasn't her fault. Uh, I can see why you'd think that. But it wasn't her fault. It's never her fault. That's the point. Stop. Stop suggesting that she's somehow bad The for... next day she convinces you to skip school. Magically, she barely gets in trouble. And you get expelled. She defended me. R Rachel was there for me. She did everything she could to protect me. I guess it wasn't enough, huh? You don't understand. You weren't there. 
Was she protecting you when she made you take part in a play you didn't want to be?